Today I thought it would be fun to do a little experiment and design the same screen in XD and Figma. This is not gonna be a tutorial, but I just thought it would be fun to do this little experiment. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm just looking for something to kind of copy. I feel like in order to do this accurately, I need to just like pick a screen that's already been designed and like recreate it um, in each of these apps. Otherwise, this is going to take forever for me to like come up with a unique design. So, okay. Oh wait, this is cute. Okay, let's go with this. And so we have it in Figma and in XD. So let's start with XD. Let's see, what do I want to do first? Um, let's just kind of start from the top. So calling this my card and let's find a font that looks kind of like this. Um, I'm thinking of, that's not bad, Georgia. Okay, I do have some of the shortcuts wrong because <laughs> um, I'm used to Figma since I use it more often, like for work. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. And I would think that a header like this would probably be like 18 pixels. And then the background is kind of like this nice soft gray. So we're gonna grab that. I'm just gonna copy this down here, $200. And I feel like I can just guesstimate. Then let's create these little icons up here. So I'm just going to grab my circle and we'll just keep these kind of in line with that. At least 24. So that looks good. And we have this icon where I actually have no idea what these mean. <laughs> Do you guys know what these mean? I have no idea. This looks like history, like or refresh, maybe. Yeah, this looks like a history icon. And this looks like, oh, that's like a bag of money. Okay, got it. So let's go into icons for design and we'll do history. Yeah, it's like this type of icon. And then I'm just gonna manipulate it a bit to look exactly like that. Okay, cool. Now let's tackle this card. So I'm going to just create the basic shape here. And I'm seeing that it's about as wide as these icons. We'll give it this nice color. And then we're just gonna kind of recreate this design on it. And if you missed that, that actually is kind of a cool trick. Like what I did was I just overlapped these and then copied and pasted a duplicate over top of that and came over here and did this intersect. Then it creates this shape and I could change that to whatever color I want. You could also maybe use blending modes, but I don't know. I feel like that was just super quick and easy. Card number we have here. I feel like that's a bit smaller. I'm gonna make it 14 and left align. Now I'm gonna group this together and I think there's a way to actually make this, like give this this shadow. I feel like there's a way to do that in XD. So, okay, like I think I can, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's a little bit different on this. It's like bending both directions or it's not bending. It's like the shadows in both directions. I don't know. I kind of just like it kind of like this. And then maybe we can add a shadow. It's a little different, but that's okay. We took our creative liberties, right? Okay, then we're gonna create a button. Ooh, no. Okay, there we go. Okay, then 
I need white text for this button. Hmm. There's a lot about this design that I would not actually recommend. <laughs> Like, I don't know about using a sans serif font on a button. And then these guys. So, do that full width again. It looks like probably like, and then they've got pretty rounded corners. It's interesting, the thing that I'm noticing that I'm remembering XD doesn't do frames. Like you just kind of do everything within a group, but Figma really relies on frames, which I like personally. And then I need an icon. Now we're creating this toggle. Okay, make sure it's in that group. I'm forgetting all my shortcuts. Also, it's like annoying that it's creating these shapes in the background. This is black. Cool. Okay, and then just so we get like a little bit of practice with components, should we make this into a component? Okay, so command K. Yeah, that's component. So then this is the default state and let's add a new state that's off. Now off. Ooh, wait, no. Why are there two? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I used to be like really, really fast at XD. Maybe now I'm better at Figma. I just don't know. Default off. Ooh, love that. Okay, next, we're just gonna, let's make this a component too. Okay, wait, did, why did that do that? Okay, I don't like that that did that, so we're not making it a component. Did you see that? When I made it a component, this moved. Why did it do that? This card. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, I need the tab bar and we don't have a room. I gotta scooch that up. It is white. Okay. I think I want like 45 pixels on each side and then I'm going to select all of these I'm going to line them up like that and then evenly disperse them with this icon I'm going to make all of these just like a lighter opacity since they're turned off not too bad so that was fun let's see that took me like 25 minutes I think maybe less I'm not sure when this started um okay so that's that now let's go over onto figma and do the same exact thing okay i feel like now this might go faster i don't know so let's give ourselves that same background color okay i'm gonna start running into things that are gonna trip me up i feel like and oh the scrolling is backwards oh no you guys okay like I really should be used to this. Like I do use both, but I don't usually use both back to back like this. And when I design screens these days, I'm always doing it in Figma as opposed to like my thumbnails or like things like that. I'm always doing an XD. So it's like, I don't know, different. Oh, the scroll. It's like the zoom scroll. That's yeah, not cool. Okay. Oh, nope. That's a comment. Um, what was I trying to do? Text. And we chose Georgia. So that's one thing. Over in XD, when you have just a single line of text, there's an option to just keep the formatting like this. You can just use this thing to make it bigger and smaller. You can't do that in Figma. Like, it's just the text box that you're manipulating. So that sometimes trips me up and I have to like manually increase this. Is there an easier way to do this in Figma? Someone let me know. 
this will be interesting so i'm definitely i would definitely make this a frame yeah there's no way to like give it a radius on the canvas but i mean not a big deal this color i think if i remember correctly i have to go up to object boolean groups intersect yeah oh nailed it i'm starting to question why i'm doing this <laughs> i hope this is entertaining <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. It seems very repetitive right now because the, these tools are pretty freaking similar. But it's just, I don't know. We've noticed some things, right? We've noticed some differences for sure. I don't think we can do the same perspective thing that we did here. So no big deal. I'm just going to do a shadow. Drop shadow. I really don't know how to achieve that type of shadow. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Is that like the same effect, maybe? It's not the worst. Next, let's make a button. So I always use frames for buttons too. I'm just not realizing what is view what does view forest mean? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, one thing we can do with this button is wait, let's see. Yeah, if we turn on auto animate, it's always gonna have the same amount of padding on either side, no matter what the text is on the inside. We only have one button, so it doesn't really matter, but you know why not i'm curious how many of you use auto layout for my first few weeks i didn't use it and then my boss told me how it worked and now i use it constantly it's like i mean it's part of our design system all the spacing and stuff so i really have to use it the other cool thing i like okay i just noticed this too in figma you can copy an element from here and then if i command click into this frame and hit command V to paste, it pastes it into the frame as opposed to pasting it in place where I copied it from. I just spent entirely too long trying to find a good plugin for icons. So let's see if this works. Okay, it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna grab these ones from XD and we can go from there. Okay, I just grabbed all those. So huge downside for Figma is that there are no good icon plugins. It really is a shame. Somehow that's not something I ever <laughs> needed in my job. So <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal. I'm not dealing with components for this one, guys. I just, I just can't be bothered. Okay. Cool. And this is Wow, my computer is overheating. <laughs> okay, so moral of the story is that these two platforms are very, very similar. Um, the shortcuts are different. That was tripping me up. Like the um, capabilities are a bit different. I know I personally prefer prototyping in XD. Um, XD has a few more like visual uh, capabilities than Figma. For example, this transform um, thing that you can do is really nice and it's not something you can do in Figma. Um, but personally, I like using frames in Figma and I really like having auto animate in Figma. So, and I also really like how components work in Figma. I honestly can't remember, um, if it's super different from XD or not, but those are kind of my big takeaways. I hope that you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.